figured you'd make an appearance. Omen's bloodhound come to take all the glory again? We do the research. We do the work. But when the dust falls, the people only hear one thing. That a brute killed some monsters. And it was them that saved the day. Please excuse Zal. It seems he's forgotten his place. Lord Halar sent us to monitor the Codex Halls. The unraveling phenomenon has already spread here. I'm sure you can see. We've been taking readings, and the distortion in this part of Aurelian seems tamer thus far. I believe the unraveling reached the Codex Halls later than the repository. The spread is... worrisome. There's another research team out near the Undercroft's Breach. You should see if their findings match our own. Did you know, Trespasser? I knew the first moment you walked my monastery's halls. The gloom is a maelstrom, fathomless yet hungry. But you and that dagger, you are a swelling sun, scorching through layers of a blackened storm. <laughs> so hostile. I'm merely curious, dear. These so-called Arcanists are little more than children playing at the primordial elements. You, however, your power... intoxicating. And still, you endure such subservience. A slave to mortal prattle, cowering around the beacon of dead gods. I merely wonder how you stomach it. I hope you didn't come looking for answers. We've close to zilch. I said to ease them into it, Voss. Ox, help me. You think they've got time to shoot the breeze? World's falling apart, I'm fairly sure. Look, Wayfinder. Our instruments started going haywire the moment we got within earshot of the breach. We're trying alternatives. But we've no easy way to collect any data. Whatever's happening inside, it seems to be more concentrated than the reports from the repository. It's possible the unraveling started in the Undercraft. I'm sorry, I know that's not much to go on. Wouldn't risk venturing within until we've gotten a better lay of the land. Suppose you could head back to the repository, though. The way I hear it, the breach over there has only grown worse. Zal was ungrateful, disrespectful. Faust was incompetent, worse, arguably. These Seekers paint a poor picture of support for one such as you. It's a wonder you ever made it to my sanctum. My point. The monastery is descending even further into chaos. The halls overrun with umbrals. And you will need to fight the Horde to slow the Unraveling's course. It is a death trap of degradation and chaos. But I can be your guide, should you only let me. Sense you. 
see you. Find and slay these wretched umbrals before they gather any more strength.
Reconstructing, reassembling, chaos and order. <laughs> How my blood boils watching you work. Go, bring violence to the unraveled heart of this place.
assassins. Might be about time to crack a few skulls. Much more of this. primordial signature differs from the last sample you found. It is purer, more concentrated. It is possible this was in close proximity with whatever nexus or entity is responsible for the unraveling. Return to your seekers. With this, I am certain even they should be capable of pointing you toward a solution. I shall remain in this contemptible cage. It is the trial of all who ascend to power, to be hindered by the fearful masses. You will see, one day, when the battle is over, yet you, their champion, their sword, remain. The people will turn on you, fear you. Then it is you, trespasser who will be caged. Recent events have... You've returned. Good. I did not want to interject into your conversations with the first. I know that she is working some angle. I can feel it. To be honest, I hoped she might tip her hand if we left her feeling confident enough. But now I worry the angle she's working is you. I hope what she said didn't unsettle you. I hope you know that the people here appreciate everything you do for them, dearly. A young girl gave me a flower just yesterday. She bore a scar over her right eye, a remembrance from the Shrike's last push into lower skylight. She told me she wants to be a seeker, to fight alongside the heroes who saved her. Wayfinders, like you. Good. We all harbor doubts from time to time. It's only natural. I only hope that when those doubts surface, you'll come to me if you need. 
Now, as for the unraveling, the situation in Aurelian is deteriorating. We must act soon or risk a catastrophe not unlike the fall. The first scribe was correct. The resin you've brought with you feels different. Luckily, Lord Halar has been analyzing your earlier findings. Speak with him as soon as you're able. We are close to uncovering the heart of the unraveling. Given rise to a new threat. You are all Ah, good. I'm eager to get you up to speed. I've spent every waking hour since your discovery in Aurelian poring over these wondrous findings of yours. And, well, I finally cracked it. These resins, you see, they look to be made of little more than ethereal dust at a glance. But they are brimming with chaos energies. So much so, in fact, that their arcanic signature is quite unique in our world. I believe we could harness this power. Yes, much like an imbuement, really. Is it truly so strange to consider? Our goal is to find and destroy the crux of this unraveling. Whatever it may be, we know it began somewhere within Aurelian. We can therefore deduce this abominable thing exists somewhere deep within the gloom. Likely a, a layer of its own making. Creating an imbuement from its very own residue should allow you to enter the layer we seek. And if your track record is to be believed, save us all. With any luck, destroying whatever crux is holding the unraveling plague together should reverse some of the damage. It'll also give me more data to study the phenomenon. But I've held you for long enough. Go. Fashion the imbuement. Enter the gloom. End the unraveling. Always welcome here. That imbuement. The moment you forged it, I could feel it in the air. Like palpable dread. Finish this quickly, my friend. Let's go.
Watch me! The danger isn't over yet. Return to me. We have much to discuss. Reports from our Arcanists in the field suggest some of the unraveling effects have begun to subside. It seems as if we've cut the head off the snake. And yet, the body continues to writhe. Much of Aurelian remains afflicted. While we are no longer on the defensive, our work is far from done. That sliver he dropped is intriguing as well. I am not sure its purpose yet, but I feel like it is important. Yes, do clean up all those umbrals for me. I've just made a promising breakthrough in my research, and it'd be a nuisance to have them mucking about the repository. You... this can't... Near the unraveling lost zones, I could understand. But for you to extend your influence so close to the beacon... You foul... Did you even care to preserve the lost zones? Or was all of this a ruse? Another attempt to escape? Everything is a means to escape. But no. I did not wish for the end of our reality any more than you. I merely seized an opportunity. I do hope you celebrate your victory well. I shall certainly celebrate my own. I fear we've made a grave mistake. The unraveling needed to be stopped, yes. But whatever she accomplished while we were distracted may prove an even worse threat. It's possible she utilized the loose threads in the Gloom's tapestry to widen the bars of her cage forcibly. In which case, it's good we stabilized Aurelian as soon as we did. Apologies. I need to think on this all. The unraveling? The umbrals? I'm beginning to think something is commanding them, and that it's growing more aggressive. There is a silver lining, though. Lord Halar and I believe we've found something of note in the First's research. When you're ready, I know our next steps. Lord Halar and I are studying the First's research. She uses three different systems of encryption and combined with the arcane principles involved, it's challenging. But we've had a breakthrough. The Beacon of Skylight is one of many. The Castellan Torch in my homeland, the Pyrolith in the Maze. Each one a well, holding the pure celestial power of the Architects. We've always known of the relationship between beacons and signal fires. The ley lines that run between them carry the light of the Architects and stabilize our world. Ah, I remember in the Haskala Forum, Lord Valiost, the fool, claimed that this web of light was meant to be a cage. A cage! Well, I set the record straight and... Lord Halar, please. Your apologies. My mind does wander. The first scribe studied these webs of arcane power and found something we'd all overlooked. Something she calls a balefire. We thought they were just another form of signal fire. However, the first's research shows that balefires are conduits within the gloom, connecting the arcane webs of different beacons. Which means... An end to isolation. The cities that we've lost could be found. Friends that were separated could be reunited. Our beacon strengthened beyond measure. Thanks to the first, we have located a balefire within the gloom. The traces are faint, but you should be able to follow its thread through the gloom gate. The path winds through chaos and shadow, and we cannot be sure of where it leads. But we believe that lighting this balefire will link our beacon to the region once known as the Frost March. Yes, yes, it's a dangerous task full of unknowns. But if we are correct, this is the first step to undoing the fall and reconnecting our broken world. Will you do this? Calls for aid. The 
hope of our world is lost somewhere in these shadows. Signature. That's Be careful. We must manage any new forces before. 
See where it leads. We've been trapped for so long, isolated by the gloom. With this victory, you've changed everything. Through the Balefire, we've reached a place we thought lost forever. The colony of Deepwood Holt in the Frost March. Though they've faced countless terrors, many of the colonists survived. We've evacuated them to the safety of Skylight. The resources of the Frost March could be vital for our survival, and we've established a seeker camp in Deepwood Holt. The survivors say there are monsters in the woods beyond Deepwood Holt. We need to learn more about these dangers, and to salvage anything we can. This is our greatest victory, my friend. You've strengthened the light of our beacon, and taken the first step to reuniting our broken world. We should celebrate. And yet, I feel a foreboding that I can't explain. This past year, I thought when we broke through the gloom, the world on the other side would be brighter. That it would be as it was before the fall. I'm afraid that was a fool's hope. The people of Deepwood Holt have been fighting to survive. Their balefire is weaker than our beacon, and the Frost March has been slowly sinking into the gloom. It's... changed. Rather than powerful allies, we've found people in desperate need. The survivors say there are others still lost in the shrouded woods, and they speak of a deadly enemy, of reavers in the darkness. I don't mean to diminish your achievement. It may not be what we'd hoped for, but it's a crucial first step. There are resources we desperately need in the Frost March, but there is something else. Connecting our beacon to the Balefire has strengthened its light. Yet I feel... I don't know what exactly. A presence. I'm trying to isolate it and learn more. Wolf has appointed Warden Rust to guard the Balefire. For now, speak to Rust in Deepwood Holt. I'm sure he needs your help. This was an Avar logging camp. It was also my home. I was in Skylight during the fall, and the gloom trapped me there this past year. Seeing Deepwood like this breaks my heart. So many of my friends are dead, and the survivors are in shock. Something's been hunting them. They talk about reavers and knives in the shadows. We've evacuated the survivors to Skylight, but so many are still missing. Lost in the woods taken by these reavers. You need to recover supplies and to save anyone you can. Please. Pardon the interruption, Rust, but I do think something of an introduction is in order. I am Malon Sol, Reeve of Deepwood Holt. And you, you are the hero who brought the Beacon's Light, no? I wanted to thank you in person and express that whatever you or the Seekers need, I am here to help. I am a friend of your order. Likewise. Now I am sure you have much to do. I shan't distract you any longer. Farewell. 
I remember Malon. To be honest, I never liked him much. But I guess a year of strife could change anyone. In any case, we have more important things to discuss than the Reeve. There are a few survivors who've chosen to stay and help, and a few who refuse to leave. If you run into the old woman, leave her alone. Just trust me on that. We're rebuilding and fortifying the Holt. Most of the survivors urged us to abandon the Frost March, but I'm sure you can handle what's out there. Ark guide you, Wayfinder. The woods around you are caught between the gloom and reality. There's no telling what dangers lie ahead. The energies of this place are deeply disturbing. I fear... I'm afraid that we've opened a door we cannot close. I need you to go deeper. I need to see what power is waiting in these woods. Strange altars in the woods, chanting in the night. Be careful out there. Please. I just remembered something. I can almost feel the beacon. <laughs> 